back. I asked you guys on Twitter to send me your favorite photos. I wanted to look at your favorite photos and I wanted to react to these photos. A couple things first. One, I am not a professional photography critic. I am a guy who's been doing photography for around five years now and I know a thing or two about composition and light. I'm gonna give you guys my honest personal opinion. That doesn't mean your photo is bad. That doesn't mean your photo is wrong. Art is subjective. And what could be nice to me could be terrible to someone else. So now that I got these couple points out of the way, let's get started. First things first, we got two photos from Ala Kabbalan. And I'll link everyone's uh, like Twitter or Instagram in the description below so you can check them out. So we have portrait photography right here. Uh, I remember he said, uh, Ala said that he's just doing this as a hobby, but these are really awesome photos. Um, both of them, uh, great portrait shots. They're not blurry, they're sharp, they're in focus. That's that's the best you can ask for out of portrait shots. Uh, I really love the background on the second one, the lights in the back, they're really nice. They complement, like they complement the subject really well. Uh, the subject style is really awesome as well. The, the red headphones with the white beret, I guess. But yeah, uh, my only complaint would be the first photo is a bit dark, maybe bump up the shadows a bit. Uh, and if I was you, I'd try to find a, a like a red background as well, just to complement the red headphones. Just, but yeah, other than that, uh, maybe clean, clean out the top left and top right leaves, just, you know, brush those out. But yeah, other than that, awesome work. Keep it up. Up. Ugh. Hi. So second, we have two photos from Omar Sahyuni. Omar is a really good guy, great guy, always supports me. So thank you, Omar. Um, so we have two photos, one in Beirut and one in Belgium. Uh, let's start with the Belgium photo. Honestly, absolutely beautiful. I love these two people like sitting on the ledge. It, it is a balanced photo. The composition is nice. The colors are really nice. Um, yeah, I love the fade you did to the black as well. So the colors are not too harsh. Great shot. Second shot. Uh, so I really like this shot. I like the silhouettes. I, I, if you guys have followed me for a while, I've been doing silhouettes for a long time. Um, my kind of only issue is that this shot is not level. If you look at the horizon, if you look at the, the water, I don't think it's pretty level. So just make sure your photo is, you know, properly leveled. But yeah, other than that, I love street photography. It's what I do. And these capture Beirut and Belgium perfectly. So yeah, awesome. Next photo. Third photo right here by Muhammad Ali Hafza. Thank you for sending in your photo, first of all. I really like this photo. This is very nice. I really like this photo. I have no complaints. I have nothing to add to it. Maybe crop the guy who's like on the left side here just because, you know, he's kind of in the way. But other than that, this captures Beirut's waterfront pretty nice. Awesome shot. Keep it up. Love it. Next up on our list is a photo by Lama Yunis. Lama is a great photographer. We've never met, but her work is amazing. She also does nightlife, so shout out to Lama. Uh, I really, 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 really like this photo. The colors, the, the, the green tint. I, I can never make this work, but somehow she does it. Uh, she also has this very nice dreamy effect to all her photos. So if you guys like look here, it has this very ethereal effect. And yeah, green tints is something I can never do, but she makes it work every time. Also taking photos from your balcony, sunny stop. Taking photos from the balcony is always fun to do. And yeah, you can, like, you can look around. There's so much detail in, in this shot. Like you can actually just peek into people's balconies and, and just see how they live which is kind of creepy, but very interesting. Love it. 
next photo. All right, next up we have three photos by Bashar al Khuri. I'm just gonna talk about the third photo because I don't have too much time. Um, I love photos in the rain. Taking photos in the rain is one of the most fun things you can do. Uh, when people are out with their umbrellas, it just adds more to the story, makes life more dynamic, makes things interesting. And yeah, I really like this photo. There's this small, I think, Mini Cooper, same one that Mr. Bean drove, I guess. Uh, the guy is blurry, which is nice, shows that he's kind of trying to get away from the rain. So yeah, there's a story here and it's a pretty cool photo. I like it. Next. Next up, Emilio Jabur. Emilio, you knocked this out of the park, man. Man, this is so nice. I love it. I love the colors. I love the composition. I only have two super minor comments, but that's just me. You might think otherwise. Uh, if I was you, I'd just add like a radial gradient on the top just to make it like a bit more ethereal and add a bit more glow. Maybe bring down the dehaze to make it softer. And uh, yeah, and other thing, like I'm not, personally, I'm not a big fan of the bright green tone. So if I was you, maybe I'd desaturate that a bit or maybe shift the greens to a bit like of a dark green. But other than that, awesome shot, beautiful waterfall. Love it. Our next photo is from a person on Twitter who has a very nice handle, kind of cool name. I'll put it right here. But yeah, um, so Rita Malkun, uh, she, I, I hope I said that correctly. She sent me this photo and I don't know where to start. First of all, <laughs> This is one of those photos that the universe has to align perfectly for it to happen. You have a very symmetric photo split into three parts. You have the water below, you have the half part, which is clouds, and you have the other half, which is kind of clear. And the sun is right smack in the middle. And this is, the, you can't replicate this. This is once in a life, I guess. Yeah, you, you need things to be perfectly aligned. But yeah, other than that, super awesome, beautiful. I'm guessing taken with the phone. Uh, but yeah, beautiful colors, perfect timing. You were at the right place at the right time. Thumbs up. You guys just send in too many good photos. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. Okay, next up, Lara Tas. She said that she calls this cotton candy. Uh, I wish you sent me a higher quality image than a 124 kilobyte photo, but I can obviously tell what's happening here. I mean, there was a burn in the sky during sunset or sunrise. And yeah, shooting clouds is something that's really fun to do. Not a lot of people do that. They should though. Um, yeah, awesome photo. I kind of hate the crane. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like right in the way, but yeah, cool photo. Just make sure you send a higher quality one next time. Sarah Kanj. Hi, Sarah. She's also a very good person, always supports my work, so thank you. So we got three photos from Sarah, and honestly, she was, she didn't want to, like, honestly, she didn't want to send them. And these are awesome. These are absolutely awesome. First one, super cool photo, super minimalistic. You got the light just hitting perfectly at one spot and you got the hole on, hole on top. So great photo, simple, minimalistic, just awesome. Just th th these are the types of photos that you look at and you know, they, they make you feel something. They make you feel something. You don't know what it is, but you feel something. Second photo here, also just super minimalistic. Most of it is dark. Your eyes are just drawn to the light. And I, I personally love doing that as well, like manipulating light the way I want to. So this is, this is really cool. And the third photo is of a person walking their dog and you have the street light, which somehow is on, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, also minimalistic, everything's dark. Your eyes are just drawn towards one spot. So all three of these photos have a, have a theme, which is what you want. You have a nice style. Keep it up. Next up, we got three photos by a person called Thomas Flowers, who sent them to me on Twitter. So thank you very much for your participation. And conveniently, there are three photos of flowers. 
So Thomas does macro photography. And if you guys don't know what macro photography is, it's when you take photos of insects, plants, just tiny, tiny objects using a special lens called a macro lens that will give you more detail. And these are very beautiful photos. I've never done macro photography, to be honest, but it's something I'd like to try one day, but these are, these are awesome. You can see like all the detail on the flower and the water, the reflections, beautiful, just beautiful images. Something I've never done before. Maybe one day. Next. We have a photo by Shafi Ismail who took this photo from his car. Yeah, he took this photo, this sharp photo with no motion blur from his car with his phone, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, what more can you ask for from while, while being in a car and moving? It's a sharp photo, it's in focus, there's no motion blur. The light is absolutely beautiful. I think it was golden hour, I, I guess. But yeah, great photo. And uh, this building has always been interesting. So yeah, architecture photography, something you should get into. Think about it. Next. All right, next up, Sarash Hadis. And in this photo right here, I mean, just looking at it, I can probably guess it's in Europe from the like carousel in the background. Uh, if I was you, I would just crop it like kind of like this just to frame in the subject and just to like get rid of all the distractions on the left side and the, and the right side. But yeah, if you just crop in like this, it should be fine. Great photo, great story behind it. You have a woman drinking wine, you have a guy talking to her and you have the carousel in the background. If I was you, maybe I'd also try to get a bit closer to the window. But yeah, if you crop it, then you have a pretty compelling composition. Next, Milhim Saifan sent in two photos, which I absolutely love. These two photos are great. All right, let's talk about the first photo. We have our subject who is not in focus, which is exactly what he wanted. He wanted to show the guy moving. So he, the guy obviously there's motion blur right there. So it's, it's a very nice touch. It's like usually you, you want your subject to be in focus, but in this case, he's showing the guy walking. So he's showing motion in the photo. Colors are absolutely beautiful. Composition is awesome. He is right smack in the center. It is a very balanced photo. And I know exactly where to look at when I, when I look at this photo. Um, second photo is a guy, I'm guessing he's a fisherman, uh, sorry, fisherman, <laughs> on his boat uh, in Beirut, I guess. And yeah, I mean, you, if you zoom in, you can see all the details. It's also in black and white, which is something I've never done as well. Uh, just two great photos that tell stories, tell very simple stories. You have a fisherman on his boat going to do his job and you have an old man walking, trying to get his walk his daily walk or daily steps. Um, beautiful photos, just ah, just great, great work. Yeah, this is this is proper street photography. Awesome job. Sunny! Okay. Okay, next up is a photo by this person on Twitter right here. I'm not gonna try to say the name, it's pretty difficult, but I think it's Ratasha the legend. Uh, sent in this photo. I am not sure where this is back home. I mean, this is a very nice landscape photo. Uh, I haven't done landscape photography in a while, but this is super nice. All the detail is there. You can see the snow, you see the lakes. Um, I mean, if I was you, maybe I'd, I'd just add a subject in a bit in front just to get the sense of scale of the area. But I'm pretty sure it's a very large area and yeah, it's a great photo. I love the colors. The blues are nice, soft. The white is proper white. It's not tinted. So that's exactly what you want when you're shooting snow. Because shooting snow is a bit tricky sometimes. But yeah, great photo. Good job. We are almost at the finish line. We have two more photographers left. Okay, first one is a photo by Frederick Schmali and this is a 
banger. This is such a nice photo. This is, I'm guessing, in France and in the Louvre at the entrance gate, I think. But yeah, I mean, usually people take this photo with the subject being way farther back. Usually there's a lot of people around and most of the times people try to keep the subject in focus. But what he did here was he flipped the switch or flipped the script and he made the person out of focus. And it just adds this like nice cinematic feel to it and makes it more, I don't know, it has this very nice nostalgic feeling. It is super sharp, it is very nice, no grain, no noise, awesome photo, just, you know, it's a, it, it captures a memory that will last this person a lifetime. So, awesome job, 10 out of 10. Okay, now this is the home stretch, the final person in my photography critique, review, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, my photography review. So we have five photos here. Joseph Jabour, thank you Joseph for sending in your photos. Okay, so there's a lot to look at here, but let's go over them super quick. First photo, awesome detail shot, architecture, old architecture, old architecture, historic buildings, you know, sharp, in focus, exactly what you want. You can see all the details. There's a lot of history behind this photo, obviously. Um, if I was you, maybe I capture first like a wide shot of the entire place and then maybe add detail shots. So I'll give a tip if you, whenever you want to tell a story in photos, try to start with an establishing shot, which is like a wide shot of, it, of the place to set the scene and then maybe move into more detailed shots so you can actually, you know, sh show the people like this is the place, this is what it looks like inside, this is more detailed shots of what it looks like on the outside. Next up, we have uh, another shot by him, and uh, this is this is a very cool shot. You have the lighthouse, you have a bird right in the photo that is blurry because he's moving too fast, and yeah, um, I'm, is this the same place as the one before? If it is the same place, then you actually did what I was telling you about, which is take a wide shot and then take detailed shots, which is which is perfect. But yeah, uh, well, lighthouse is centered. Uh, I think it's a bit more to the right, so maybe just crop in a bit on the left side. But yeah, great shot. Next up, we have a, an old man fishing. And I'm gonna guess this is also around the same location. So this is this is perfect. Yeah, you have all your story, story elements right there. Uh, my only issue maybe is kind of desaturate your oranges because the man's ear is looking red. Uh, great photo, um, love the story behind it. He's there, you know, just fishing, trying to get his food. And finally, another shot of the castle entrance. So yeah, you definitely have a story here. You have all the elements that you need. You have the wide shot, you have the detailed shots, and you have the people around. Absolutely perfect. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me reviewing your photos. Again, I am not a professional critic. I've been doing this for a while and I loved all your photos. I hope you guys keep working on your photos, working on your photography, and maybe you guys can send in more next time? Question mark. But yeah, awesome work. I think I got around 25 photos and I think 14 or 15 people participated. And maybe next time we'll have even more people join in uh, but yeah, that was it from me and thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.